started. Hey yo, what it do, it's Young Honey, and today I'm gonna talk about some tips to uh, actually help you improve with your rapping and musical creation. Um, none of these are set in stone. Everyone may have different tips to provide. Um, and I encourage you looking for as many sources as possible on how to develop yourself and how to develop your music, your rapping, your skills, all of that. But I've um, been doing this for about five years now, so I want to make a little listy list about some of the things that I learned. While we do that, we're going to play some Dangle Far Cry. Jesus Christ, you did. Have a good time. So I want to get a good amount of prepper stashes done. I want to get like as many missions inside of Far Cry done as possible without it being like a drag or anything. Um. So we're gonna do a fair amount of those just like right off the bat. Um, that's what's gonna be happening with gameplay, but like these should go by fairly quickly. Like this shouldn't be an issue. But yeah, first thing that I found that really, really, really was beneficial to me, um, especially when I first began rapping and first started finding flow sort of deal, um, okay, wait, it's this one, um, it, it, it's hard to pick up. You gotta understand like cadence, melody, like you, you gotta put together a lot of pieces and that can be kind of overwhelming. It can be kind of hard. And so one of the biggest things that helped me was I literally wrote a verse every single day. I, I'd wake up, I'd get everything I had to get done, done for the day. And from there, I just kind of lock myself inside of a room and force myself really to just write. And that's not always a lot of fun. It's not always easy to find beats. Oh, um, I'm probably gonna do this once or twice more throughout the video, but like Shane and self Club, like we do be uploading beats on here every other day. Like we, we, we post a lot uh, specifically for that reason. Like, I'm a big believer in repetition, so when I make beats, I make batches of beats. I'll try to make five or six at a time, and that helps me post a lot and post uh, prolifically, while also developing the skill a little bit, like, while I work. So, I, like, you can kind of see the progression there, and I think that's that's been beneficial, because I can play back my work and really see what I could be doing better. And that's something I really, 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 really like and appreciate. I think there's an animal in here. Yeah. Um, so with that, like, I do feel it's super important to be keeping up there. Like really making sure that you put in the effort to better yourself and find the time to practice more, practice your writing because ultimately Ultimately, that's what most of the things I have to say will loop back to. It's primarily practice, repetition, and making sure that you don't give up on it. Like, those are the biggest things to me. And so when I say write a verse, I don't mean like you, you gotta post it. I don't mean like you gotta even record it. I just mean Find a beat that you can flow with and just start practicing, expand your vocabulary, maybe uh, maybe expand how you look at, how you organize your verses, and really, really, really get into how you can be bettering it, in the sense that you can always make something sound more smooth, you can better articulate what you're saying, you can always, always, always improve. 
And that's one huge thing that I really think cannot be underrated in any situation. And yeah, like, like, it, it'll take you so fucking far. We should go and make sure he's okay. Like, it is absolutely essential that you do your best. Oh man, I accidentally shot the dog up. Get you up here, buddy. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, it's important that you really do those things just to make sure that you continue with your growth and development. Those are absolutely like huge parts of making music and really expanding as a writer. So, next big thing that I kind of want to point out is listen to literally all the kinds of music that you can. Um, I personally really don't like country music. I've still listened to a good amount of country music and I found different kinds of it that I like. And the main reason for that is you'll find different styles, you'll find different cadences and patterns and ways to approach your writing that you may not have considered before. And that's going to give you a little bit of an edge. You're going to, like, if you listen to those things with a very critical ear and you, you just, honestly... It's masochistic, but like you really, really, really force yourself to go in depth with the audio and just grind out listening to album after album. You'll start to notice that there are some things that are just successful that you hear every artist do. And then you hear like the uniqueness in each artist and it can be really overwhelming. It's definitely a pain. But at the same time, I think that's a really huge part for developing your repertoire. Pretty sure it's around here. Picking up the skin. Um, but yeah, like, I, I really, really, really don't even like country music. I, I, I listen to a fair amount of country music to try to better understand what the fuck is going on there, what I could better appreciate about it, and what I could potentially take away from my music. And ultimately, I ended up finding, like, my own sound and, like, how I like to actually kind of approach singing with things. Honestly, it's like, it's not even a question that, that alone has been invaluable. All right, we on to the next one. get out of here. Oh, damn, I always overshoot it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. But yeah, some of my favorite artists to listen to, oh, um, Especially if you do some research to get into uh, all their production work and what they're kind of about and their general styles. I think MF Doom, Jay Dilla, Gorillaz, um, even Russ is a good place to start looking just because they do have very unique sounds with them. Like whether you like them or not there's there's definitely a certain sound that's associated with it and i think that that 
really helps define their brand as an artist and you know clip reset. I don't know how much got cut off by me forgetting to reset the recording on time, but um, really, it, you, when you find your niche, you're in a different position. You are in a much different, much more powerful position as an artist because you're not just creating with no intention anymore or to try to find something for yourself. You're creating for a demographic in a way that you hopefully enjoy. And that's just, that's, that's pretty huge. That's something that's really important to have in your life if you're a creator. I saw some piggies heading up to Dansky's cabin. Bet they're trying to get a stash of supplies. Someone should head up to make sure he's okay. Check out Dansky's cabin in a bit, bud. After this, there are two side missions I want to do, and then we can start working into Jacob's uh, region. Oh shit! Big come up. I shouldn't have done that. I have a feeling that one of those side missions that I want to do that uh I want to do the one with uh Tweak Kirby got a feeling he's gonna he's gonna want me to have some Jimson meat trying to figure this out I'll, I'll keep talking in a second I always get really disoriented on the mountain ones and yeah <laughs> yay I'm not getting bit by a slippery snake today Oh shit, the dog was right there. Okay. And I got Jimson weed. Huge. Tremendous. Massive. So, kind of to continue with the point about listening to every kind of music, one thing that I find is if I don't like a certain kind of music, but I know one of my friends does, I'll ask them what they like about it, like pretty straight up. Like I'll be like, yo, literally no offense at all. I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious. Like, what do you like about this? Like, <laughs> like very, very, very bluntly, what do you like about this? Um, and I mainly do that so that I can find out what to listen for. Like, you're doing this kind of thing to broaden your understanding of music. And so outside input, as long as it's constructive and fairly well given, it's, it's going to help you out a lot. And it's also going to save you a lot of time. Like these, like, these are all tips that you can start working on, like, fairly immediately. And I want to leave it to things like that. But at the same time, I feel like it's, it's important to recognize that this is a process. You're going to need to gain feedback over time. And you're going to need to make friends and build a network there and do quite a bit of work. And that's all good. But just like keep in mind, you're not always going to enjoy the music of others or the music that you have to listen to to better yourself. It's unfortunate, but like, it is what it is. All right, where, where the fuck am I going? I 
think I want to go to the radar mine. I think that's where the uh, Hidden Guy Marvel mission is. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Y'all read those words? <coughs> I got rid of faith. There is no clear path. Look at these blood dragons. There's my star, looking beautiful, superstar. The entire crew walked out. They left. I love this game so much. Yes, we are, guy Marvel. Lines up. All of you, over here. Are you still coming? All of you. So. Oh shit, I want to talk about the next point, but I also do, Loki, you gotta listen to uh, the instructions because I'm not as familiar with this, this. But um. Next point is really produce. Learn how to do that. That shit is so important. Like being able to tell a producer what you want is one thing. Learning how to produce will help you with that. Okay. Let's fucking get it. Are you kidding me? Oh, why? This is low key disrespectful. Damn. Bro, why? <clears throat> I can't believe what I'm seeing. I can't believe what I'm seeing. But yeah, learning to pick up production will go really far for you in the sense that not only will you be able to tell other producers what you want. Resetting recording. Reset. You'll be able to tell other producers what you want when they're making you a beat. But more importantly, if you can't find a producer or you fall upon broke boy season, you don't need to buy a beat. Like, use, use some sample, sample softwares and just go burr with it. You know? Like, I feel like 
that's also a very important part of things. Um, yeah, I know how to do a death from above. I was trying it, buddy guy. Like, not just that, you'll also find what kind of flows, what kind of styles you like to produce in, what grooves you feel the most and how you can best function as an artist. Thank you, Jesus. Like, that's genuinely one of the most massive things that you can do. Especially just by getting comfortable with uh, MIDI controllers. Mm. You'd be a happy camper. Also, just on like personal level, it's a good release. Like, whenever I get anxious or upset or depresso or any any kinds of emotions, like I like to produce, and it really, really, really calms me down like nothing else. They, did he say shoot K? Never compromise on your vision. No matter who you hurt, no matter what the cost. Thanks for that. So I'll never forget it. Now get lost. If you got a masterpiece to edit. If you don't really want to fuck around and get fully into producing, it's very time consuming. Like I, I can definitely appreciate that. I would focus on the drums and the bass aspect of things. You know, um that's really 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 huge for understanding rhythm and rap especially when the grooviest kind of rap and unbiased source here i'm a biased source here um one of the grooviest kinds of rap is baseline rap dangle unlock all kinds of skills with that So, one thing that's like very consistent that I personally believe in is that the collective is always going to be stronger than the individual, you know? And so, build artist collectives. Build up a network of artists. Build up friends of people who you appreciate as artists, even if you don't like their music, as long as you can see their vision. And really cherish them. They can be some really influential figures to you, and you never know where that can take you. Like, Sammy Loudpex and I met through Third Dude, and we just kind of grew by making music together, and he's one of my closest friends now. I got nothing but love for that guy, and it's just, it's so valuable to grow, because I've learned, I've learned so much from that dude, just like, like about rap music. And I'm really thankful for that. Like, just because of that third party dude, who also is a very cool guy. Like, a whole label came from it. So you never really know where those things will take you. And I think that those are really important opportunities to always look at. Like, you don't know what you're gonna find there. Oh man, they're gonna make me give up one of my guns and it's gonna have to be the shotgun because I use that the least, but it's also one of the most useful ones. You know what these two? Hey, Brad thinks he's so hot because he can play guitar. Ugh. You got the goods? Sweet. Oh, this concoction will blow your mind. I'll get All right. turn you into a... Uh, we need to see how quick you are. Run the obstacle course so I can... Uh, set, set. I'm gonna focus on this obstacle course before the... Uh, the next point because it's on some bullshit like that i literally did not have that issue with like my first three playthroughs and then it stumped me on one of them and i lost my fucking mind over it like since then i just take it mad slow pop out over here
damn. It gonna be like that. It really gonna be like that today. Okay. I don't think I had to kill it. God! That's upsetting. I, I don't condone doing that. Don't do that. It was pretty solid tweak. I'm down. I'm down as fuck. God. Okay. But yeah, so one big theme is going to be that the collective is always stronger than the individual like you learn you learn and develop by working with others there's no doubt about it like your collaborators aren't just going to be collaborators they're also going to be friends they're going to be they're going to be people that you improve with that you grow with that you start to better understand music with what am i missing damn so those are the people that you really, really, really want to stick around and you want to start really collaborating with and working with as fast as possible. Just because you're going to better yourself, you're going to better them, and you're going to better the position that you're in entirely. It's just, it's maths. I'm so sorry. I, I really, really, really hate the missions where they make you kill animals, but like, you know, you gotta do it to get through the game. Oh man, I missed. But yeah, so I've said it before. I'll, this I'll, is I'll one of the other. Okay, chill. You got fast now. You want something else? Hey, you let me know. One of the things that like I think is really, really huge as well is something that you're watching right now. You got to be making other kinds of content. Okay. Um, I'm really, 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 I'm not fully, let me reset my recording, reset. I'm not fully familiar with making videos. I don't know how to do Let's Plays. I'm not good at making YouTube content, you know? Like, I'm still learning every single time I record something. And that also helps me better understand, like, exactly what the fuck I'm doing with videos. And it also gives me more control over the process every single time. I, I put out a video a few days ago, like why United States politics suck because like, yeah. And I accidentally like drowned out my voice entirely. Like with beats, I don't, I don't plan on using beats in my videos like that again. If I do, I'm gonna put in a lot more attention to making sure they don't drown out my voice. Like, that's also helping me understand mixing and mastering the music that I make a little bit better. You feel me? Because there are other settings 
for mixing and mastering the vocals and the audio on iMovie, which is what I use because I don't fucking understand how to make like content like this. Like again, gotta diversify and learn. Put yourself out there and just try it. <laughs> you feel me? So, so really, just like don't don't even give a fuck. Don't don't even worry about it. Like don't. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't think you gotta make a perfect final product. Just do shit. Literally just get to learning more. You're gonna be really, really, really happy that you did. And you're gonna see those benefits in a lot of different ways. Like, I really, really, really can't overstate that. It does so much. Like, these things help develop a lot of skills, and, you know, they're just things that you can't really get around learning down the line. Alrighty. Where to next? Where to next? Where to next? Hmm. 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 Name's You'd get the most benefit out of liberating that, but first I'm gonna go to Clutch Nixon. I fucking love Clutch Nixon, man. I can't help it. I really can't. Some of them are infuriating, and I'm terrified that this is gonna be one of the infuriating ones, but if it is, it'll, it'll tie perfectly into my next point. So, gotta find that silver lining. Had a notification up on there that I dang old could not have up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna land and then reset recordings, like both of them, because I do need to check out one of those notifications. I just have a bunch of daily reminders set up, and so they end up blocking out the rest of my notifications entirely. Yay. Alrighty, resetting both. All right, word, we're solid. It's Clutch Nixon time. Bro, I'll go fuck myself, I guess. I, I spawned into that. The Whitetail region is really one of the most beautiful parts of this game, and it's also one of my favorite storylines, but I feel like they just did it so dirty by making it the shortest part of this game. Like, I feel Jacob's region specifically progresses so fucking fast. Fucking kidding me? That's so far. Did you see that plane crash into the mountain? 
Someone should get up there before the Peggy's do. You got a big Those mouth, bud. Fine. How's the boot shutting the fuck up? But yeah, I guess we'll go flying again. And do all that. So... One thing that kind of comes with trying out a lot of new things, especially within content creation, is posting it is scary. Like, you may get really self-conscious at times. You may end up kind of depressed about like how it's going with the stats or whatever, but you really, really, really can't be self-conscious if it's your art and you're speaking your truth and you're making something that you're proud of. It's really not something to be embarrassed about. It's something to be proud of. So one thing that I really would like to drill home is don't let fear, self-consciousness, or even occasional inadequacy fucking stop you. This shit's a learning process. Think Kendrick Lamar, MF Doom, Eminem, you think all those heads woke up and were amazing? Oh, dog. July 18th, 1975. Like, no. Clutch Nixon, the greatest stuntman in every aspect of known creation, donned a new wingsuit made from the skin That's of his up. most beloved dead pets. <sighs> But yeah, like, this specifically, it's one of those missions that fuck with me. And one of the reasons why I had pre-recorded an entire run-through of this was because these missions fuck me up. And I'm about to try to do this, like, on-camera sort of deal. I'm gonna try to get it real quick. You feel me? And so, like, yeah, I might fuck it up real bad. Yeah, I'm kind of nervous about it. But also, at the same time, small video, small game. You know, if I'm not playing this to have fun, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So you got to recognize that, like, with what you're doing, you should you should be finding some level of joy and excitement in it because you deserve that for yourself. Why else create? I'm going to shut the fuck up and focus. Ah, uh, jeez, it's over. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't tell yourself it's over. You really can't like let negative like thinking get in the way of you doing better and finishing the goal that you have for your video or your song or whatever you're trying to drop. Like, the first few times I released music, like, I'm gonna be real, the music was not ready to be released. I was not a great artist. I fucked up so much. But, at the same time, it was a learning process, and I developed it with each failure. Like, it's just... It's kind of something that's gonna happen, and you need to accept it. You need to accept that sometimes... People aren't going to see the vision, they're not going to fuck with it, or you're not going to be able to execute how you want. And what you got to remember is, I was fucking terrified of doing that, and then I did it in one try because I'm fucking goaded. And I'm not self-conscious about what I do. This is a fucking game. This is a game. Dangle 143 subscribers while I'm making this video. You think this shit is my life? <laughs> We're having fun here. I'm not letting the pressure get to me. Um. So yeah, really, just keep in mind that <laughs> on the whole, like, you just gotta have fun with what you're doing. Try out new things and don't be scared of doing them. Just 
let it fucking happen. Ooh, that's a shame. I want this. By that's a shame, I mean it's a shame that they're trying to get away. Yeah. You got out because you're soft, ain't you? <laughs> it flies so far. But yeah, you really can't let stuff like self-consciousness prevent you from enjoying making music or doing something that you love. Why, why would you do yourself like that? It ain't right. What you saying? <laughs> Mini fireworks show. Resetting recording. Reset it in. Oh yeah, I I I think this is uh Drummond. Oh, Sarah Perkins. Okay, fine, fuck it. I'll get experience points. But yeah, like you really gotta look at these things like how they are. Like, none of it's really that deep until it is that deep, is how I try to see these things, you know? Like, for now, just, I'm trying, I'm trying to make content, I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to have fun, and enjoy what I'm doing. And I'm not really, like, I'm not feeling like there's a shitload of pressure that comes with it. And I feel like that's a good way to kind of approach posting. Because odds are one video won't pop you off. Odds are an unthinkable amount of work won't pop you off. But at the same time, if you're enjoying yourself, who really cares? You know, and if you can get past like any form of ego that's kind of stopping you from posting and kind of get past any level of self-consciousness that you're holding on to, you're in a good place. Thanks for that. I'm Sarah, by the way, Sarah Perk. Okay, okay, help me figure out what the cult's done to these wolves. Trap a live judge at the youth camp west of here. Hmm. This ain't gonna work for me. I'm not, I'm not going all the way over there. Congratulations, Jess Black. You have become the top priority again. <laughs> but yeah. So... Next thing is fairly similar to learning how to produce. You know, you're gonna wanna learn how to record yourself and how to mix and master. And that's such a pain in the ass. Like, this is something that you can start to learn immediately. I've, uh, like, can confirm, like, you can make huge strides in literally a night, a week, just by paying attention to the right people and kind of picking up different things through actively practicing. Um, but it does take years to fully develop. The sooner you get on it, the better. But being able to do that, you can start to find ways to exploit your voice on songs to really help discover a new voice and to really empower yourself to take a front seat whenever you record. Don't matter what setting you're in at that point because you, you know what you're comfortable with. You know what you can do. You know what you're looking for. Like to me, that's, that's one of the intangibles. Like, like that's huge to me. Um, Again, that, that it's, mixing and mastering is one of those things that you're going to fail a lot more before you succeed. But it's also so, like with learning how to produce, like learning how to do all of your shit. It's such a rewarding process. And don't be afraid to reward yourself while you do it. Be, be proud of your achievements. Be proud of what you're learning. Be proud of what you're doing. This shit ain't easy. 
Acknowledge that you're doing something awesome. You feel me? Like, you don't have to be cocky or arrogant about it. But just know that you're not replaceable. The shit that you're making is different. That's how I that's that's how I try to think about it. You know? Just dropped on him. He got heckin' embarrassed. But yeah, so by recording yourself and learning mixing and mastering, you can kind of get to a point where you're more comfortable and your own process is a little bit more infallible. You're gonna feel a lot more comfortable in studios, a lot more comfortable with yourself, you're gonna learn, and you're also gonna find ways to kind of acknowledge the work that you're doing. So, there, there are just so many different factors that I want to touch on, but like, it's hard to find which ones should be going first. But I think, I think another really important thing is to find a voice that you're comfortable with, find a tone that you're comfortable delivering bars with that you can use with confidence and happiness and really, really, really feel what you're saying. It, you gotta sound confident, you gotta sound convincing, you gotta sound like you understand what you're doing. You really owe it to yourself and your listener. And so, for that reason, that, like you gotta keep practicing that. Refining your voice, refining your style, refining your flow, finding your niche, doing those things, it's, it will carry you. Like, it will, it will carry you all the way. Because those are things that you cannot teach. Those are things that you can learn, develop, and improve. You feel like those are things you just got to spend time with yourself doing and working on. And that's a huge pain in the ass. But I also feel like there ain't a thing more worth it. Especially if you're interested in music, if you're interested in getting better as an artist. Like, that kind of thing will really change shit up for you. I should have grabbed a bow. Maybe there'll be one up ahead. Ah, I could have gotten all three. Oh, I'm helpful. But yeah. Everyone has different methods as well, too. Like, I think that everyone finds what they're looking for a little bit differently. And I think we all accomplish that in very different ways. But I think that if you're looking for a good place to start, really gaining control over your voice is going to be something you want to watch out for. It's a fairly massive one. I thought I got his head.
I'm not losing a hostage. Tripping. So, if you're actually like making music right now, if you're currently in the process of building shit up for yourself, do not overcommit yourself. Do not feel like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders, that you have to take every single collab opportunity, that you have to do a ridiculous amount of things. Let me reset recording. Reset. You want to focus on developing yourself, man. You can do that through collabs and through meeting people, but if you overwhelm yourself, you're gonna burn yourself out. and. You're not really going to be able to function as the artist that you want to function as. And if you get to that point, like, it's, it's a scary place to be. It's a really scary place to be, and that's not, that's not the kind of thing I would like to be seeing. So... Really, please keep that in mind. Like, you do not want to overwhelm yourself with those things. And similarly, you don't want to be overwhelming the people on your contact lists. So being able to do a shitload of work is great. Being able to find a ton of people to work with is amazing. Being able to capitalize on those opportunities without stressing yourself out is honestly the best at the same time you got to pick your marketing opportunities carefully if you're a growing artist you got a lot to learn and a lot to do and that's okay but with all of that comes the fact that you need to learn how to manage your social media following your contact lists your mailing lists fucking everything all right and that's so annoying. Damn it. I lost a civilian. That makes me mad. I had the chance to save her too and then I shot her again. <coughs> but yeah. You don't want to be constantly spamming. You don't always want to be posting. You want to keep a nice balance going and you want to get into a good rhythm that's also not going to overwhelm you just like it's not going to overwhelm the people that are following you. Like that's not, that's not what you want to do. If you have great content, schedule it. You may get burned out. You may have any number of things come up. You want to have that in the bank. Don't drop everything on one day. Don't. <laughs> Don't drop one thing a year. You gotta find a very good balance for yourself. You know? When, like, that's just... I don't know. That's big. Like, you, you have friends at first. You don't really have fans. Like, we got about, we got about 5k followers on our SoundCloud right now, like, ah, people comment on my shit being like, damn, you just did it again this week. Like, got friends, not followers, or not fans, like, it really comes down to the fact that these are people that I'm trying to get to know as people. I'm interested in their music, their development, where they're going, what their plans are. I want to see them thriving and changing shit for themselves, you know? And so really, really, I, I think it's important to internalize. You have friends, not fans. Don't treat people like fucking fans. Just arrogant, in my opinion. Unless, you, unless you're actually popping, in which case, yo, by all means, tell me to fuck off. <laughs> you know. Jessica, where are we going?
Alright. Let's finish up this mission. That was easy. Damn it, he's burning him. Damn, auto aim. There we go. Man, there we go. Dead and I don't feel anything. All I ever wanted was to find this guy. And now, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But you've been right about a lot of shit lately. I'm sorry to hear that, Jessica. Eli, maybe he's right about That's very too. unfortunate. You, uh, need someone to watch your back? Call me. I'll do that. And, uh, thanks for everything you've done. You didn't scare me with your creepy story about kids eating their parents. I'll give you a call to watch my back. Go upgrade the heavy ammo bag. I really would like to see the skill tree fully completed by the end of this playthrough. Not like with all the companions, I don't think that's mathematically possible, but I would like to see like all my ammo shit, all that like fully maxed out before the end of this. I think that would be nice. Because again, if you haven't gotten the point yet, this is also for fun. You're supposed to have fun while doing these things. <laughs> oh geez, I'm getting close to triggering like a fight. I can take the flank center. And I can do it fast. Probably didn't need the fast. But yeah, one thing, one thing that I I feel I say kind of frequently in like a lot of videos and a lot of times that I kind of get to talking about how I think people could approach some things. I feel it's important to put everything that you have into what you're doing at that time. I think that you give a song everything you can, and I think that you do everything possible to make sure that it's as close to perfect as possible. At the same time, you need to be sure to be kind to yourself. You need to be sure to take care of yourself. You need to be sure to actually watch out for you. You can't make music if you're not feeling right mentally. You know? And so, practice some mindfulness. Check, like go to therapy sort of deal if needed. Start, start to really, really, really focus on productive ways to better yourself while also ensuring that you're developing. You know, cause you can, you, oh geez, you can do an unreal amount of work and give it your all, but eventually you could burn yourself out and that's dangerous. It's counterproductive to what you're trying to do. You want longevity. And so, for real, like, be kind to yourself. 
don't don't beat yourself up give everything your all at the same time make sure that you take steps to make to really 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 preserve yourself you want to end up being able to do more than just make a song and go to bed reset that's frustrating that that happened in the middle of the outpost but like i was saying you really want you you want to be able to maintain things around you so burning yourself out isn't conducive to actually maintaining a future within music you don't deserve that you don't deserve that in the slightest no one does it's overwhelming and it is quite terrifying so I said it earlier, I'm gonna say it again, don't overcommit yourself. Think twice about collabs that you take. Think twice about who you're working with, what exactly you're doing. Think, think about the impact that it would have on your work ethic, on how you may approach later projects, or how you may wanna do things differently. Like, leave it open. You, you really don't wanna suffer over over you just wanting to make a song with your friends when in reality you won't have enough time to sort of deal like that's what i mean by like don't overcommit. when you work on one project work on one project like finish it up move on to the next uh don't take on too many wild like like side side tasks don't try to don't try to make a million different kinds of videos all at once. Really, really, really pace yourself. Like that's something that I think everyone really has to focus on because burnout takes not only the best artists out of the game, unfortunately, like it takes a toll on mental health. It can start impacting you outside of music. It can start impacting you in your day-to-day -day life. You can literally end up with serious mental health issues as a result of it like uh, if nothing else avoiding avoiding burnout would probably be one of my biggest things to focus on um it's hard it's hard because it requires so much like it requires it it requires a lot to kind of keep everything straight but it's also absolutely worth it. Like by by not over committing yourself and by actually making an effort to keep things stable, you're putting yourself in a stronger position for the future. And that that just can't be ignored. It really just can't be. Like it's just invaluable. The peace of mind, just that alone. Mind me, feet. But yeah, we're gonna skip this. Song here is a banger. Let's talk, my G. Trying to track you down, Dip. What do you need me to do? Dutch, okay, okay. A group of white tails. We do that. I'm also going to talk to Tammy while I'm here. Always come out at night. White tail militia's been ready for this fight for years. Okay. You should be, Weedy. You absolutely should be. But yeah, for real, this, like, the rap game is inherently frustrating. I forgot.
down on either way it's not very forgiving to mental health in a lot of situations there's a whole lot of vanity that's going on and stats tend to rule a lot of different met like ways that people are perceived and you need to find ways to counteract that because you don't deserve it none of us deserve to be commoditized like that um So I feel like that shit was something to harp on, you know? Word. I don't want to fuck this up. I don't want to lose any hostages, especially after I accidentally killed a hostage in that last mission. So... I'm taking this one slow. But yeah. Maintaining peace of mind, maintaining a strong mental health, being positive and maintaining like different affirmations in yourself and knowing that you're good. Knowing that you're competent, knowing that you're, you're doing the work and validating that is super important. Now, again, again, this is similar to the very first point. You need to practice by writing a verse every single day, but you can't write a verse every single day unless you have beats. So you do ultimately need to find a producer that you fuck with. You can check out my beats, but if you don't rock with them, that's chilling. But it's really important that you find someone consistent, someone that really, really... You can keep doing different things over and over again so that you have different options. Like collecting a list of producers like that, oof. It's a big game changer. Um, personally, like when I was getting started with rapping, um, and way before I started producing for myself, I would literally just load up Leap and Needles page like every day. Zero doubt. Dude got talent with a capital T. Uh, Beats by Khan, amazing. Caps control. Like, it's, it's really, 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 really important to find people like that. Because whether they're big or small, as long as you're continuing to refine your skills, you're in a very positive spot. At least in my eyes, you know? So you really want to find a steady producer. Again, I'm just going to shameless plug. Like, you know, your boy got beats for you. I specifically, uh, I specifically make broke boy beats. Like, everything is free for profit because I don't want there to ever be a cost barrier. I want people to be able to go explore practice and if they strike gold, they strike gold. Use the beat, bro. If you want to support, I would appreciate that too. But like, end of the day, it's hard to find money as an artist. I want to see what people can create. So I feel like that's, that's a really big thing. There are a lot of producers who do share that mentality and I think that's amazing. I really do. I think that finding people like that will go a long way for developing you and your music and go a really long way in making sure that 
you feel comfortable in your own ability in the future. Because the more you practice, the more stable and refined your skills get, the more, the more you feel comfortable doing it. You know, like, the, the intangibles are just ungodly. You set? They both alive? Yes, sir. So yeah, finding that consistent producer is gonna be big. I do need to go talk to Tony, bro. I really gotta go talk to Tammy. But I wanted to liberate the Fang Station too. But yeah, it's looking like we're in the last like three points for this. So, I'll get into them in a moment. I think I'm going to talk to everyone at the White Tail Den, and then I'm going to go into, uh, I want to liberate some outposts here. Start causing a little bit of a stir that way. I'm a man of few words. My buddy here told me the cult's been jamming me. I've got a job for you. You remember the Grand View? Okay, listen. Need to get our boy back before Jacob hurts. Head to the Grand View. Swap out the music. We'll do the Grand View because that's liberating an outpost at the same time, I think. I'm gonna take the helicopter. So, <coughs> getting into the last of these, like the last of these points, you're gonna fail. And that sucks. <laughs> but the sooner you start to fail, the sooner you start to get better. And so, really embrace that feeling. When you fail, do not consider what you did wrong. Consider what you can do better. Consider what you can fix. Don't dwell on what went wrong. Think about how you can address it and make sure it goes right for the next one. That's Bo Adams. I'm not trying to talk to him, to be honest with y'all. But you're, you're gonna fail. And <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie to you, like that shit hurts like a motherfucker. Like your friends may, like you may think that you have the coolest concept, and then your friends may just say, bro, this is dog shit. You know, like that's hard to hear, but also it is the truth to an extent a lot of the time. And usually they're sugarcoating it when they say that it's dog shit. Um, so just let that happen and ask like, hey, how can I do that better? What do you think I should have done there? And if they don't have an answer, that's okay. That's okay. Friend may not make music. They may not, they may not know how to articulate their issue with it. But be open. Ask people, find out what you might be doing wrong. Don't blame others, be calm, be patient. Shit's a process. These tips are supposed to help you immediately, 
but the immediate nature really, really does come with the fact that you start immediately and you develop these skills. Because these are all things that like anyone can do. You, you, you don't gotta be a genius to do it. You know? You just gotta be, you just gotta have the time. You gotta have the motivation. And you really need to find a way to separate yourself from others. Which, it's so hard to do. Like, so much of this is way easier said than done. And I acknowledge that. I acknowledge that equipment is expensive. Doing everything in-house can be a huge fucking investment. You know? And so I don't, I don't want any of this to really be like tone deaf in the sense that I think that this is achievable for literally every single person on the planet. But I think that given time, I think that given effort, and I think that just given a passion for music, you can really, really elevate yourself without spending a dolly. It's part of what I love most about music. Sound like it came from inside the house. It did. How did he not hear that? I ain't complaining. Thanks for the faulty physics. Don't be afraid to fail and really embrace it. I know how much it sucks. I know, I know. But it's really just the thing that happens sometimes. It's not something that makes you less. It's not something that makes you more. It's just a learning experience. And most of the times, as long as you land on your feet afterwards and you know how to do that for yourself, it's going to be a positive learning experience. <laughs> All right, let me secure this area. Resetting. Ah, uh, shit. I'm seeing trucks headed your way. Jacob must have been waiting for us to hit him again. Kid, I'm seeing motors and MGs outside. Get creative. They got lots of toys out there. I, I, I did use a med kit. But yeah, literally, like, I don't know, the idea of fucking up used to scare me a lot. And it still does, but it's also something to just get over, you know? All of us make mistakes, all of us fail at times, and it really is about how we recover. So don't be afraid to take the risks, don't be afraid to take chances artistically, but also know that... Sometimes people aren't re just aren't ignoring your genius. You, you may not just have it in an idea. That's okay. You may have an idea literally an hour later that blows that other piece of shit idea out of the water. And that's the beauty of making music. So, for real life, just like failure is a part of life in every other aspect, it's present in music, but I would argue that it's going to build you more than anything else, as long as you just let it happen. Like, just accept that 
that is going to happen, except that occasionally, upon occasion, you may be a little bit fucked. You know? And they're going to be solid. Next thing is, I've been preaching a lot of like mindfulness and making sure that you remain calm and feel in control of yourself and your situation. At the same time, this is a very oversaturated game. There are so many people making music, everyone and their fucking uncle, you know, is doing it. And so make sure that you keep an edge. Make sure that you remember what you want out of it. Define your goal and stick to it. Do not stop until you got it. Because a lot of people can't even define what they want out of music. They, they, it's like, it's like, would you, would you like to, uh, would you like to establish credibility? Like, like, do, do you want to be a part of that community? Do you just love music? How, do, how like, how do you feel about these things? You know, like, these are really, really, really important questions to answer, not for your fans, not for me, for yourself. Because it's gonna give you that edge. If you know what you want, you can want it more than anyone else. You really just gotta be able to put it to words. This is going to take a minute. There we go. Looks like we're all clear. Seti Spaghetti. The comms on this part are kind of wonky. I like that you can bust in doors. I learned about that on this playthrough. Like, I knew that you could shotgun doors, but still. I'm being hunted again. All this fang scent emerged near a bunker. He looks pretty upset. We should go see what his problem is. Jeez. Okay, no, we're not. We're not being hunted again. This is okay. We're fine. Damn, low key, I want that outpost and clutch Nixon done. I think that's the last thing we'll do. Word. So, this is the last thing on my list. We'll just kind of let this play out. But, I found that when you seek to better yourself, and when you seek to better the rap community, and hip hop community, and you seek to better those around you as opposed to doing whatever, trying to only bolster yourself. I found that life has a really funny way of giving back to you. And it's not immediate. It's not always there. But it's so important.
to make sure that your ulterior motives aren't going to hurt music. That it's not gonna hurt the development of others, that it's not gonna hurt the rap game. Because otherwise you're just an asshole, okay? That's the opposite of what you wanna be. You want people to look forward to working with you. You wanna be able to make good connections and friendships and really build something here. And so by just being a nice, easy person to work with, just by building up the community around you, by volunteering around you and getting things together to the point that word of mouth can start to spread, you're in a different spot, man. You're in a different spot entirely after that point. And it, it's a good one. Like it's one that it's genuinely fun to be in because you can look around and see your media impact on your community, the people around you and what you're doing. And there's that sense of satisfaction. And I feel like I've said, you don't deserve to feel a certain way a lot. You deserve to feel that level of satisfaction. You really do. Like it, it's not, it's not complicated, it's not deep. People deserve to feel satisfied by their art. And so, really, 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 really try to keep those things in mind. Like, I know that a lot of it is a little bit more holistic and is more focused on avoiding burnout and helping yourself, but if you build a community around you, you're going to start to find some really, really, really beautiful things. How the fuck? It's really important that if you do things without a negative ulterior motive and expecting something for yourself, you're gonna find yourself in some really amazing positions to do some really amazing things. And that can really define your career. It can also bring you an unbelievable amount of joy. Community service hits differently. Like, I'm not saying that, like, damn, you should go out and do community service and all of that. Reset. Like, I, like I, I don't know where I got cut off, but by helping your community and doing things within there, you're gonna find that you create such an incredible amount of positive externalities. You're gonna create a better world around you. And you cannot put a price on that. You really care. Jeez. I forgot that those were proximity explosives. Damn, this is chaos. It was not supposed to be like this. There's also a side mission here that I can do. Oh yeah, this is... We good. Hey, you got a sec? 
I have a lot of sex. Where? Where do I go? But yeah, listen, again, with all those things that I've said, please keep in mind, no path is linear. You got other tips, drop them. I think it's beneficial to share these things and I think it's beneficial to build and grow. I think that as a community, we can do some remarkable fucking things and there's no reason why we shouldn't, you know? So those are just some things I think y'all y'all could keep in mind. I don't want to be like overly preachy on it. I just I really feel strongly about enabling creation. <laughs> you know. So I hope that if nothing else, like that list can help someone out. So many bad guys. And that satellite dish still isn't broken. Crazy. That map ain't mapping, boss. <laughs> Y'all seeing this shit, right? What in the fuck was that? Oh man, I think this is another skydiving clutch Nixon. Are we about to do both of these in the same video? I'm nervous all over again. Shit. Okay, this isn't a skydiving one, but I'm bad at this one too. F. I'm mainly bad at getting down the mountains, to be honest with you. I usually fuck it up there and then on one of the really tiny jumps. I've barely touched accelerate. That's gotta hurt the balls. There's no doubt. Yeah, I usually hit this like during the night time. I don't know why. But like I always fuck it up on that jump. Almost specifically that jump, dog. They make it look easy. I've also fucked it up up here. We got time. We got time for another mission. Just one though. Dog needs walked. I need sleep.
Am I being hunted again? I'm just gonna go accept this. Of here, nut sacks. Ah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Resetting the set. I wish that you could explore the veteran center more. I really do. Low key ridiculous that you can't. They want you to be strong. One of you will be strong. Not again. <laughs> she she. <laughs> to a hospital and put me in a room with this little pink bundle stuffed with tubes and they said that I had to be strong because my little girl was going to live God was looking out for our daughter and they left me alone in a room with her I just stared at my daughter problems so helpless, so innocent. And all she had in the world was me. Or nobody from nowhere with. Fuck. And in that moment, I knew that God was testing me. He was laying out a path before me, and all I had to do was choose. So I put my hand and I leaned in and I could smell it. And we prayed together. Prayed for wisdom. Prayed for strength. And I knew. I heard God's plan for me. I took my fingers and I put them on that little plastic tube that was taped to her angelic face and I pinched it shut. And after a little while I like disturbed. Sacrifice. 
These are all part of his test. And we have to prove that we can serve God, no matter what he asks. Cinematic. Only you song is a banger. That room is always the one that gives me issues. It's that one and the next one. I usually pick up a good amount of time during this one. It's like, where's the effort? I like that mini game. It's unfortunate. I was in a good spot. All right, we'll take the Elk Jaw Lodge and we'll call it a day. Thank God that wasn't a proximity charge, though. That would have been super not bueno.
You gotta save four more people. Four more hostages, I'm hearing. Let me reset the recording. Reset. Damn, I gotta do a little bit more than just the lodge, I think. A lot of heads here. Fuck. 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 Yes. I'm gonna get to that alarm first. It's not about what mistakes you make, it's about how you recover. I'm pretty content with that one. That went about as well as it could have. Just getting shattered that you've cleared out the elk jaw. Nice work, deputy. Jacob's been using that place to turn these walls into judges for months now. Without it, we're one step closer to taking down his whole operation. Tremendous. Gotta be like one more clutch Nixon. Just massively delivered right there. Two clutch Nixons. I'm tired, boss, but I really, 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 really want to get as much done in this session as possible. You know? Matter of fact, I'm gonna reset recording. Resetting. I'm not even gonna take any risks. It shouldn't take 10 minutes to clear two clutch Nixon levels, but it may take seven and a half, and that's how much time was left on that recording. I like keeping things as close to even numbers as possible. <laughs> Makes editing a lot easier for me.
Man, what? You know what? No. I'm not gonna let this shit go. Apparently, nor should I. Is this one skydiving? Not what a moose knuckle is. Got a good grip on your mom, dog. Oh, yeah. I felt myself flipping. <laughs> Damn, I missed it. I'm not hitting a moose. Moose aren't hitting me. We're going, bug. Oh god damn it, I got distracted. It's it, it's really not that deep, like this shit's over. But still <laughs> I should have gotten distracted on those fellas. Word. Phenomenal, tremendous, amazing, let's do it. Word, I think this is a plain one, hopefully. I like the plain ones.
This is where a cheeseburger is. We'll find him, don't worry. Should be like right over there. Stories that they give to these. Fuck, man. Fuck. I'm not very confident on this one. All the wingsuit ones. <laughs> Fuck. Resetting recording. Reset. <laughs> this one, this one usually gives me quite a few problems. <laughs> Horrifying. Yeah! I thought that was going to take a while. It took about a minute, 43 seconds. Okay, we'll clear this and then I'm getting off. But for real this time. Damn, we really grinded out so much of this region. The majority of it.
Smidge. My big thing is like, I want to do like as many mini games and side missions as possible, but like at the same time, in checkpoint type games, like that's just very tiresome. And unless I have the content to substantiate it, I just, I, I don't know. I really don't. Get rid of the snipers. I flinched. <laughs> I was doing the shooting. I feel the same. Pretty sure there's no one left. That's not what I meant to use. Damn, what? What is this fuckery? Do I gotta kill the bear too? No, it wasn't the bear. I thought I hit that shot, and I didn't, that's right. Let's go. It's a goofy way to end it, but I'll take it, you know? Like, fuck. Oh, jeez, I'm done. I'm so done with this day. I'm so tired, boss. I'm gonna re-up on everything. And then we'll pick it up next time.
Alrighty. I'm done. Peace out.